Many months ago, I made a video on wireless redstone and this system right here. Needless to say, it was uh, not not the best. Really not the best. Recently, my good friend June Paradis has shown me a glitch that makes wireless redstone faster and more reliable. The old design worked only half the time, where the new design works 100% of the time. So you may be wondering, why does the old design only work half the time? And I have a better question. Why does it work at all? So here's a little known secret about Minecraft. It doesn't actually simulate its redstone 10 or even 20 times a second. It only simulates it every time it changes. So as soon as I place this lever, the game checks. Okay, what does it power? And then it checks. Now what does these power? And so on until it realizes this lever will activate these two lamps whenever it is flicked. So where this gets interesting is every time the list changes, it has to run through the list and make sure everything is still as it should be. When Minecraft looks at the torches like this, they're like, why yes, everything is as it should be. But, <laughs> but, when they look at the torches like this, they're like, oh, how dare they? This is unacceptable. This cannot be. Ah, much better. So because the old design was flickering back and forth, Minecraft only took offense half of the time. We used this fact and could detect if the torch was off for more than one tick. We could use this fact and we could get wireless redstone because every piston push would cause the list to change. My old design delivered one bit of information every 0.8 seconds because I used three pistons to be absolutely sure the message got through. This is the new design. Notice anything different? I mean, I know you're gonna say nothing, but, I mean, the answer's kind of obvious. It's not flashing. At how? Fun fact about Minecraft is if a redstone torch powers itself, it'll flash just about eight times, and then it'll stop powering anything. The new design it uses this, and now somehow both torches are off. When Minecraft sees this, they take offense to this, turn one of the torches on, and one tick later, the torch remembers, <laughs> oh yeah, I should be dead, and turns off. This design works 100% of the time. Well... <laughs> when logging back into the world, the old design is going back to having a seizure, as usual, and the new design- Oh no, not you too! When you rejoin the world, the torch forgets that it's supposed to be burnt out, and the whole list resets. This is what I wanted to show to you today. I designed a machine that resets the glitched torch automatically. So in building this, you're going to want to make sure you're taking your information from the torch that's facing either the X negative or the Z negative directions. And for those of you who don't have coordinates on, you can just face it towards the sunset or to the right of that. You're going to want to put a torch on the other side and two blocks in sort of an L shape. Redstone on top of that. You're going to want to put a dropper and a hopper. Throw in five wooden spoons. Or really any non-stackable item would work. And then you're going to want to do a comparator into a sticky piston. Now you just need to place a block here, and then a block here, and that's it. It resets the glitch state whenever you leave the world. It's that easy. I am going to show you how to send and receive signals and build more things, but before that, I just want to say something important. So when I was building this last time, I thought it was something new, but I later found out that it was actually a glitch that was known for over four years. This new, more reliable, and faster wireless redstone is new. 
Until about two days ago, when I found a year-old video from Mechanical Robot, who has been making these improved designs for over a year, and the video only had 150 views. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to tell you, June Paradise, but, um, yeah, we weren't the first. We, uh, kind of reinvented the wheel on this one. Sorry you had to find out this way. Anyways, I'm tired of these amazing devices being hidden from the world, so I ask you, please share this video and make sure you tell all your friends about this. If you make a video about wireless redstone, just put a link in the comment section and I will heart the comment so people can see your work. I can't wait to see what the community will do with this new tech. So first I'm going to show you how to send messages. The first thing I'm going to do is place eight repeaters in a row. I'm going to put a lever at the end. I'm going to go over two and up one. And a line of eight pistons, sticky or regular. I just chose sticky because I had it in my inventory. I'm going to put an obsidian at the end. Going to put a line of observers facing towards the redstone repeaters. I'm going to put a line of torches on the back of the observers and a line of torches on the back of the pistons. I'm going to put two lines of blocks, one on the side, one on top of the repeaters. These first two are special, so I'm going to put torches on all the rest. And then I'm going to put lamps on those blocks. I'm going to put a line of blocks on top of the torches. And then for the final thing, I'm just going to put a dispenser on each of the pistons and a bucket of powdered snow in each of the dispensers. And just to make sure this works, I'm going to put on to love these levers and flick the send. And wow, yep, that works. To receive the signal is a little more complicated. I'm just going to take the uh, redstone out this side. On the side, I'm going to put a block with redstone on top of it. I'm going to put five repeaters. One, two, three, four, five. And a comparator in subtract mode. So the little torches at the end is lit up. And now on this block, I'm going to put a torch, a redstone repeater on two ticks. Smooth stone, another torch, and another smooth stone, another torch. Three redstone dust in a line with a stone and a torch. And then two more dust to connect it, and now it's a loop. Right. Gonna reset that for now. What we just built right here stops any message from getting through unless it has a two tick pulse in front of it. Otherwise, any random person could just place down a lever and send information. And now from here, it's pretty simple. It's just a redstone repeater and a lamp and a repeater and a lamp and then another one. And until it was six. I put six because I have six in the sending. And then you're going to put a comparator in subtract mode into a stone with a torch, with two dust, a stone and a torch. And then may it complete the loop. Okay, there we are. Then you're going to put a repeater next to every repeater. And then a line of redstone dust.
Grid stack, yeah. Now I'm going to need a reset button. Which I'm going to put on a block right here. And I'm going to connect the redstone to the comparator, to the loop, and all the way to the other loop. Now the reset should be reset. I'm going to send a message. 101101. One, one, one. And send. And it works like a charm. That's great. Now I'm going to reset it. I'm going to change the message to set it to 101001. Uh, wait. Yeah, okay. Click the lever. Heck yeah. This is not the best design ever. There is room for improvement on everything. This only works in two directions. It might be possible to make it all directions by having one torch lower than the other. This thing is a very simple way to filter out unwanted signals. If you, if you wanted, you could make an ID system and make your system ignore anything not for you. And this part is just the worst. So it could be improved in many ways. If you have a better design, I want you to share it. Put it in the comment section, and I want everyone be, to be able to see your design. I want the community to make this the best it can be. Java Edition Redstone Wireless Redstone is going to have nothing on us. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next upload, because I'm going to make sure that one's special. See ya.